there, I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and congratulations, you have just purchased the Dynamic U1 Upright Cat and Dog Bagged Upright Vacuum Cleaner. So I am gonna show you a little bit about what you should have in your box and I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of those components and then how to use your machine. So your machine is gonna come just like this. So this is how it should come. You should have your body on the underside of your body. I'll show you where the um, crevice tool, upholstery tool, and the dusting brush are located. You're gonna have your handle separate, and then you're gonna have your pet turbo attachment. So this pet tool is for any upholstered surfaces that you have in your home. And if you wanna do any stairs, it's great for stairs, it's great for the cars, the cat towers, the dog beds, this tool is gonna to be a lifesaver for you. So before I show you how to install your handle, I wanna show you where your charcoal filter is. Your charcoal filter is located in this little compartment. And to pull it out, you are simply going to undo the clip and you're gonna pull it out. The charcoal filters are good for about 50 hours of use. And in terms of cleaning lifespan, that equates to about a year to a year and a half. But again, if you are an avid cleaner, you're gonna go through your filters a little bit quicker than somebody who's only cleaning once or twice a, a week. So then that is your charcoal filter in that compartment. To install your handle, what you're going to do is you're gonna need a little bit of force and you are gonna take the handle on your handle, let me show your handle first. There's an on and off button, and then there's an X and an O. So the X is the agitator. So if you want to be cleaning your carpeting with a spinning brush roll, you're going to make sure that it's on the X setting. If you don't want to be cleaning with an agitation, then you are gonna make sure that that's on the O setting. And the reason I'm telling you this is if you have a rug with tassels or if you have any delicate carpeting in your home, which you cannot use a spinning brush roll on, this is a very nice feature that Mila has included with this machine. So again, X is for agitation, O turns it off, and then here's your power button and then how you turn your power off. So what you are gonna do is you are going to insert your handle into the top of your upright and you are going to push down until you hear an audible clicking sound. It should be a loud click and you should probably do it when it's up, like how I'm gonna show you right now. So if you push your vacuum up and you might have to turn it a little way, it will click into place. This is going to be the perfect, um, if you are standing next to your um, vacuum, just push it down and you're gonna hear an audible clicking sound. So unless you hear that clicking sound, then that means that your handle has not been fully installed. So make sure you hear that audible click sound because that is going to make sure that your vacuum turns on because if you don't have that clicking sound, your vacuum doesn't have any power. So on the back portion of your machine, you have your upholstery tool your crevice nozzle and your dusting brush. And then also included with this upright, you have a telescoping wand and how it telescopes is on the back portion of your wand, you have a button and you click that and either pull or, or extend or retract. And then also if you wanted to clean with your cleaning attachments, and you don't need the added length of the wand, you can simply attach it that way. These attachments also attach to the end of your wand. You have a lot of different cleaning options with this machine. I'm just gonna put this back together. This hose is 12 feet and it will extend quite a long way. And then how you get it to retract is simply, you just kind of push it all back together and it just kind of retracts back in place. So very, very nice and easy. And then you are also able to attach your, um, your upholstery attachment, your pet turbo attachment on the end of your wand, or as I showed you, you can take off your wand and you can attach it to the base of your handle, which is a very nice feature. So your vacuum, I already showed you where your charcoal filter is. How you open your bags is you are going to squeeze this and pull down. And then this is your bag clip. Make sure you keep your bag clip in the vacuum. You should only be removing the bag. This clip should stay installed in your vacuum at all times. That is going to keep your bag at the proper placement. 
just below your bag clip, you are going to see a green pull down grate. I don't know if you can see this. Let me angle this. And you're going to pull that down and that is your motor filter. So your motor filter, let me pull this down and show you, is a very important filter. Change this every four vacuum bags or every one box of bags. Again, your charcoal filter will last you probably about a year or so. So on your bag, you have arrows and the direction of the arrows are going to match the direction of arrows on your bag clip. So make sure they're both going in the same direction. And you are just simply going to push your bag in and then you're just going to pop it up a little bit. And then once you close the top portion of your upright, you're good to go. So this is the Mila Dynamic U1 Cat and Dog Upright Vacuum Cleaner. I hope I was able to answer all of your questions, show you a little bit of things that are possible with this vacuum. Now try not to clean too much now, but if I fail to um, address something that you may be wondering, please feel free to reach out to us. We are always happy to answer any and all of your questions. You can reach out via the live chat feature on our website. You can email us or you can give us a call. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.